Hello darling girls, welcome to the Lean Girl Kitchen. Today we are doing three sweet low calorie high protein recipes. I am currently on a four week cut and these are the three sweet recipes I have on repeat for breakfast. If you are trying to lose fat, these are the only three recipes you are going to need in your life. And they are also good, like each one. I'm like, which one am I going to choose? So I just repeat these three. And then because I couldn't choose between the sweet and the savory ones, I'll do another video if you're a savory sister and your favorite thing in, for breakfast is savory. I used to be only like sweet for breakfast, but I must tell you, I'm also becoming a bit of a savory gal. I feel like sometimes savory keeps me a bit fuller. I don't know about for you. Let me, know, let me know actually down in the comments, sweet or savory for breakfast? I hope it's sweet seeing that you are watching this video. And I hope that you have noticed the new addition to my kitchen, which is this little table that I got made. If you watched my other video on my move in, my Cape Town apartment move in, you'll know that we were in love with this apartment. And the one thing that was missing was your girl's center island so that I could film videos for you. And if you know the property situation in Cape Town, you will know that it is tough to find a good place. So when it's when it was perfect, I think Gillan would have tried to kill me. If I was like, well, it doesn't have a center island, so we can't move in. So I made a plan and I just got my new table two days ago. So I'm very excited to film on it and make some beautiful pictures on this beautiful white marble. So let's get into the first recipe. You are going to be in love, that's all I know. So, and actually, I'm gonna save the best recipe for last. So you have to watch every single one, but they're all just as good as the other. The other two we're gonna head on this, make on the stove. This is my little recipe book. So let's start off with the first one. And it is gonna be a all bran strawberry cheesecake bowl. Let me show you what we're going to need. This one is so easy and it's kind of like an overnight all bran, but we don't have to wait until overnight. So this is probably the quickest one of the bunch. So if you're short on time, this is going to be the goal that you want. I'm using my trusty scale. Girl, if your goal is fat loss and you're not weighing your food and you're not tracking your culls, you are playing the lotto, my angel. We need to be measuring out everything that we are having um, because that's the only way to accurately track your culls. Starting off with a bit of all bran. This is like my childhood fave cereal. Um, like Pernutra was the one I was like, I do not want, but all bran, I'll have it any day. So we're measuring out 30 grams of all bran. Into the bowl. Oi, oi. And then we are topping it off with just a bit of almond milk. And we're going to pop this into the microwave. So you just want to cover the almond milk. I'll put the exact amount on there for you so that you know. And then just a dash of sweetener. I actually normally add cinnamon to this, but only the Lord knows where my cinnamon is right now. Into the microwave just to soften it. Okay, I found my cinnamon. Exciting. And now we just want to give it a good mix. And I actually put a tiny bit too much milk in here because I don't want it to be milky. So this is going to form our base of our little brekkie dessert and so you basically just want it to be a bit of a mush but not too mushy kind of like kind of like that and then we're gonna add a smidge of cinnamon because everything is better with the cinnamon and then give it a good mix um sidebar I hope you are appreciating the height of this table because that's why I had to get it custom made. I couldn't just get a normal table. And what prompted the height, beside it actually being more comfortable to work up here, because if you didn't know, your chick is tall. I am 179 centimeters, so that's tall. Um, and I had someone commenting on one of my videos that I should actually work on a higher countertop because I have a prominent 
the vagina, apparently. And apparently it's unprofessional to have it shown because I'm always in my gym clothes. And although I must tell you, I disagree with firstly the fact that I have a prominent vagina. And even if I did, that is like part of me, you know? I love a prominent vagina. I'm one of those free the nipple kind of people. Like we've got nipples, why are we hiding them? I feel the same about the J's. Anyway, moving on to the recipe. Um, now we are gonna take a pretty bowl. I'm like, I don't know where the segue is back into the recipe, but we're going for it. Take a pretty bowl and we're gonna push it into the bottom of the dish. Who says that to someone? Prominent vagina. No, we've really moved on. All right, for the cheesecake part, surprise, surprise, we're gonna be using cottage cheese. I posted this up on my stories the other day that Woolworths has redone the recipe of their fat-free smooth cottage cheese. Thank the Lord, because the last one, it was not good. Can you see how thick this is? It's like, way thicker than before and less salty, which I love. And we are gonna use 200 grams of the good stuff, which is almost a whole tub. Next up, we're gonna sweeten it a little bit. I'm using these sweetener drops these days, by the way, which is from Diskim, these tantalized sweetener drops. You can use normal sweetener, xylitol, honey, whatever your heart desires. Don't come for me on the sweetener, guys. Um, you use that sugar girl or the honey, whatever it is that you like. We're gonna add in some strawberry jam and this is gonna give it a nice little fruity twist. You could leave this out if you don't have it um, and just normal like sweeten your, sweeten your cottage cheese and then give it a mix. Done. Spoon it onto our little topping here and then you just wanna lay her down. Lay her down on a bed of roses. I should definitely stick to cooking, I think. Unless, <laughs> no, I'm joking. Okay, there she is. Strawberries are going on top, obviously, because she's strawberry cheesecake. And strawberries are one of the best low calorie um, fruits. Super high in volume, super sweet especially if you've been ruined by a flavor burst. And so we are gonna do 150 grammies of the berries and chop your little strawberries. And then we are just going to lay them down. Shoo. Gorgeous, time for her photo shoot. Let me clean this up um, and I'm gonna give you a close look at it. And there you go, sweetheart. A recipe number one, strawberry protein cheesecake bowl. Yes, please. So low in calories and huge. Like it's, she's heavy. So this is gonna be really filling. And I mean, if you start your day with this, can you not just be happy? Okay, so I put the calories and macros up for each of the recipes at the end. So they already worked out for you. So if you follow them exactly, you don't even have to work out the calories. I'm gonna put this to the side. Let's get into recipe number two. Recipe two is gonna be a protein pancake, not just any, but my very famous. It's like the lowest calorie pancakes you will ever make. They're pretty much pure protein. And so we can add lots of delicious fun fillings. So the pancakes themselves are not, I think I love them, like, but obviously, actually most pancakes don't have flavor, like the actual batter. It's the cinnamon, it's the sugar, it's the goodies you put on it. So if you want a super simple, low calorie, high protein pancake recipe, and when I mean, when I say pancake, I mean like a crepe kind of pancake. This isn't like a flapjack pancake. These are the ones you're gonna wanna make. So I'm using egg whites. Much better to buy the whole bottle if you can instead of wasting a million egg whites because you need quite a lot for this. So you want 250 mils, which I am putting all into this Nutribullet, 
Nutribullet, which is the easiest way to blitz everything up. And then we're just gonna pour it straight into the pan from this. So 50 grams of smooth cottage cheese. I mean, if it was chunky, it wouldn't make a difference either because we're blending it. You can actually put what whatever, what do you call it? Fillings in. Today we're gonna do a caramelized banana and PB2. So, but this is just a fun flavor. I've also done a cheesecake flavor, pinch of salt, always in any kind of bake, even if it's oats. Like if your oats taste bad, trust me, add more salt. Mwah. Like even if I get an, an oat pot at Vida, I add salt into that. Like a little, get a little sachet, add salt into that. It makes it taste so much better. Sweetener, a couple of drops. And we can also shoot some cinnamon in. I'm gonna blend it, yes, that is it. And then we're gonna head over to the stove because you've gotta watch the technique. Because these can flop, if you don't know the technique. So let me show you. Okay, so you need to get a hot non-stick, it's not hot yet. You need to get a non-stick pan onto the heat. Please make sure it's non-stick and not the kind of non-stick that was there like 10 years ago. Like it should still be non-stick. Get it onto the heat and then the key. We're not using oil, we're using non-stick spray. Spray and cook, this is the one that you wanna get. When it's just a normal oil spray, it does not repel the pancake mixture and you will have stuck pancakes. So please, this is the one. Spray and cook, it's the one that actually works. And you need to spray a good amount and you need to spray it after, before every pancake, okay? So while it's, getting hot in here let me blend this okay so blended give it a stir if it's got a foam on top because we don't want one pancake to just be all foam and then here is the wrist action right you pour it on one side and then you move the pan along with the mixture and you swirl it around until there's an even coating. Did you see that? So that's what you gotta do, girl. And sometimes it takes a lot of work to get that motion and cover the bottom, but you've got six pancakes to practice on. Hopefully by the last one, you'll get it. And then it should literally just come away at the sides. It will help if I used a spatula. Voila. Perfect. And they only need like a few seconds on each side. Boom. Respray, repeat, and I will see you once I've done all the pancakes. I'm so chuffed. I got six pancakes from the mixture. So now we're gonna do our little um, filling and then our gorgeous little peanut butter PB2 topping. Grab a banana, we're gonna use the same pan, keep it on the heat, and we're literally gonna spray and cook again, and then you add slices of your banana. You don't have to add any sugar, you don't have to ha add anything. The natural sugars in the banana are already caramelized on a hot heat. Um, so we're gonna make a nice little caramelized golden banana situation. And then slice them up. Yay! Look how gorgeous these are. Literally, we don't need sugar. Okay, so we have options. You could either roll them up as they are, which is what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna put all of our gorgeous toppings on the top. Alternatively, you can fill them with the banana, and then you can drizzle on the peanut butter on top. So it's totally up to you, but I feel like for presentation, I feel like it's gonna be nice to see our little bananas. Okay, now we are gonna chop them off with our lovely little bananas, which are so squidgy and caramelized and gorgeous. Now she just needs some peanut butter topping. And I'm gonna use PB2, which is a great alternative to peanut butter because we know that peanut butter ain't kind on the calories. 
So this is half the calories, better macros. So for 13 grams, which is around two teaspoons, is around 50 or 60 calories, whereas a tablespoon of peanut butter is like 100 calories. So you just mix it with a little bit of water or almond milk to your desired runniness. By the way, this is the chocolate version, um, the chocolate peanut butter. I prefer the original, so if you are going to buy it, available at Diskim, by the way, but if you are gonna get it, then I would recommend getting the original. I prefer it than the chocolate. I feel like in so many things, the original is the original for a reason. Some cinnamon, if you wish. Okay, recipe number two, caramelized banana peanut butter pancakes. And have you seen the macros? Like, have you seen them for, for this? Like, oh wow. Are you ready for the third and final most delicious way to lose fat and start your day? Let's bring it in for some Lean Girl French toast. Honeys, recipe number three, probably my favorite. I'm reconsidering, I don't know which is my favorite. They're all so damn good, but here we go. This is also very quick, like probably the quickest out of all of them. So egg whites again, we are using 150 mils, which every, every egg white is around 30 grams. So if you wanna do the math, it's like four and a half. My math is not my strong point. Then we are gonna salt it up, sweeten it up with a bit of sweetener. So a bit of salt, a bit of sweetener drops. Where's the girl's cinnamon? It's lost, it's lost again. If you want to, you can add vanilla essence. It does add a yummy little extra pizzazz to it, but unnecessary. Uh, and then I'll cinnamon and that is it. Give it a little mix. Low-cal bread. I'm using this Albany Low Kilojoule, which I love. It's around 76 cals a slice, which means we get three. If you're, if you're having this as a snack and you wanna make the cals even lower, you could obviously do two slices, but today we get three. And then we're gonna get our pan heating up so long on the stove. Let me get a plate, that would be helpful. And then we're just gonna dunk in our little pieces of bread and hit them up on the stove again with some nonstick spray. So let me move you over to the stove so you can check me out, girl. Spray it. The bread should not be frozen, by the way, which is what my bread is right now. Okay, I think they are done. Let's pile them up. Prettiest one always goes on top. Gorgeous. Now for some little toppings. We said we were gonna make this a blueberry vibe. So I was undecided, was I gonna add my cottage cheese topping? Yes, we are. Would it be a lingual recipe if we didn't? So I'm gonna do a little cottage cheese on top, just for fun. Okay, here's what we're gonna do, gals. Just 50 grams of the cottage. This is the oldest lemon that's ever existed, but it's still juicy. Make it sweet. Bloop. Give it a mix. Watch out. Okay, then our blues sitting on top. I mean, wow. And then we can also add some local syrup. This is a new one I'm enjoying, Butterscotch by Carb Smart. I tasted the chocolate one. Don't do it, it's terrible. But the butter, butterscotch is a vibe. I'm actually gonna buy more before this video goes live because after the lean girls get at it, I will never be finding it again. So grab it. 
Okay, I'm gonna clean up, I'm gonna give you a close up, and then we're gonna wrap up. Darling girls, there you have it. Three giant, delicious, dessert-like breakfast recipes that are going to help you to eat freaking amazing food, which means you don't need willpower. I mean, how much willpower would it take you to eat these? Zero, actually negative one. You're gonna look forward to them. This is my secret to losing fat, getting lean, and eating delish, delish food. So please try out these recipes. Let me know down in the comments which one you are trying first. Are we doing strawberry cheesecake bowl, caramelized banana, peanut butter pancakes, or blueberry lemon French toast? Let me know before you go. I also want to tell you about another video. If you love these recipes, I've got another three dessert recipes. I know these feel like desserts, but I've got other desserts too that are under 200 calories that you can also add into your fat loss meal plan. So go and check those ones out. Otherwise, thank you for watching. I hope you had fun with me in the kitchen. I had fun doing it. Hope you love my new little table. Make everything look extra sexy. And I will see you back here in a week on the Lingle YouTube channel. Mwah! Thank <laughs> you.